I think the hardest song for me to write was probably That's the Kind of Woman. It's super vulnerable, and I wrote it with my really good friend, Michael Pollack, and we were both crying in the studio when we wrote it. Uh, it's a really special song to me, and I hope that everyone that hears it loves it as much as I do. My favorite lyric on Love is Weird is probably the second verse. It says, People in my past, I put them in a coffin, laid them all to rest, but I still think about them often. We were on our toes trying to make a good impression. Now we're kissing under lampposts and we're asking deeper questions. I think the song that took the longest to write was probably Little Did I Know. Uh, I wrote that starting with JP in bed at night. Then we woke up. He was on the edge of the bathtub and I was standing in the bathroom. Then we went to a park. Then we wrote the course at his old house. Um, and then my really wonderful friend, Ben Rice, came in the middle of the pandemic. We were all scared of each other to uh, cut the vocals. We set it up in my guest bedroom. So all the vocals you hear were made in my bedroom in quarantine. It's definitely one of my favorite songs on the album. And I wrote it with the most wonderful person of all time. Yes, I definitely do have outtakes to this um, album. I think I wrote about 15 songs for it and I only uh, I narrowed it down to 10 because I thought these 10 were the most special and were my favorites. How do I get inspired uh, to write songs? I get inspired by conversation. I get inspired through listening. I get inspired through memories. I get inspired by people. And in this case, um, my album was very much written about uh, somebody that I love very deeply. Um, where do I sit and write? I write a lot in the bathtub. It's been a recurring theme on this album, and I think it's because the bathtub is, is my me time. It's my place where I can just be alone and self-reflect and, and just sort of dig around in my brain and see what I can conjure up. Um, little did I know, started in there, and um, so did That's the Kind of Woman. So you guys will definitely hear those in four days, three days, three days! Oh my god! What was my favorite part of working on Nico? Um, my favorite part was that I got to make it with some of my favorite people. I got to make it with the Monsters and Strangers, who executive produced this album with me, uh, my friend John Ryan, my friend Billy Walsh, my friend Michael Pollock, and my wonderful boyfriend, J.P. Sachs. I kept this album really um, self-contained, and I just wanted um, consistency, and I wanted people that have known me for a really long time, so I didn't have to jump in and, you know, fill people in on my, my life story, essentially. I wanted to just walk into the studio and be like, this is what I want to talk about today, and luckily everyone that was there with me was like, oh yeah, I know that story, because I've been there with you through the last, you know, eight years, two years, three years, four years, so, um, that was the best part, and even though it was completely made in quarantine, socially distanced, I still got to see everybody in person and make this album super, super special.